Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a Goodwill outlet haul with a twist that I'm very excited about. If you're new here, welcome. I'm a full-time reseller. I've been reselling full-time for about seven years and making YouTube videos that whole time so you guys can follow along on my journey. It's been a roller coaster. I have tried a everything in the book. Like I have made so many pivots in my business. I've made so many different, I've sold on every platform. I mean, I've done it all when it comes to reselling clothing online. And I tried something new today and I love it. I love it. So today I had my first big whatnot auction. Whatnot, sorry, I'm adjusting my hands. Whatnot is a, um, platform essentially where you can have live auctions and it started as a Funko Pop kind of trading card platform. It's still primarily I would say like a lot of that on there but they are branching out. This is not a sponsored ad. They don't know who I am. Never talked to them. I'm not anything special to them by any means. Um, but I was approved to sell there and I had my first big live auction in the clothing, like thrifted clothing category. And it was so fun. I just had such a good time. Um, there was about 50 to 60 people there the whole time. I sold about 70 items and it was just a blast. It was just a blast. People got great deals. I offloaded a ton of inventory and I think I'm going to be putting it into my routine. Now, my original plan was go to the bins, film a haul video, and then later that afternoon, do a whatnot auction. So this is kind of like the preview to the whatnot auction. That's what we're doing today. So um, there will be some things that I don't put in the whatnot auction. Only things that I bought specifically to either resell at the local store that I sell at, which is called Tiger's Den. So either I'm selling it at Tiger's Den or it's kid stuff that I will sell at the kids consignment thing that I do, um, or bras. So I'm going to pivot a little bit and primarily focused on reselling bras in my Poshmark closet. I know it sounds wacky, but that's what we're going to try and do. Um, and so all like the clothing, all that stuff will go on whatnot. I don't care. Like I have a pair of Spanx leggings right here. I'm gonna go on whatnot. I'm not going to like pick out the best items to sell. I am just gonna do it so that's what's going on um so I'm gonna show you guys all the fun stuff I got at the bins today I got 50 pounds in total uh, exactly which was so random so I got uh 50 pounds in total we're gonna go over over everything and then I will put the link to the whatnot auction down below it will happen the same day and I'm gonna try and have them three times a week so um I'll have another one later this week with stuff that I already have that I just haven't listed yet. So this is my first test at doing like a full bins haul onto the whatnot platform. I think the people who came, they really enjoyed it. I did a ton of giveaways. I gave away like a Lululemon bag. I gave away a bunch of like fun thrifter things and I'll keep doing that. I think the giveaway section is really fun too. So if you guys haven't tried out whatnot, give it a chance. Um, the link down below that I'll leave, it is automatically an affiliate link. So I get $10 if you sign up, you get $10 to shop with. You can give it a try without being charged anything, which is kind of fun. And I hope you guys will join me. I think it's just really fun. I really do. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that fun, but I just had a blast. I did. I think I, I think I found my calling you guys. I think this is it. I really, who knows? The first one was horrible. So here we are. Okay. First item uh, from the bins. I'm going to wash everything tonight and get all clean. And then after I post this video, I'll post all the listings on whatnot. This is a pair of Spanx leggings. This is not the assets by Spanx. This is the true Spanx legging in a size large and these are just really great little leggings they have a great resale value i love selling Spanx. and the one thing about whatnot is you can be you can ask to be notified when something goes live so if you want these Spanx leggings but you're not really interested in anything else but you want to um 
bid on these and not watch the whole live, you can go in and set a reminder and just be like, remind me when these go live and it will pop up a little notification. I've done that with a few things and you can just go in and snipe it really fast. So just a heads up that if you see some things you like, but you don't want to stick around for the whole auction, that's a thing. What is happening? My dog is going crazy. Oh, you brought me a toy. I cannot play right now. I am working. This is very sad. You're very cute. Now I'm gonna tie the video. Hi, baby. Hi, what are you doing? Come here. Come here, Seven. She wants to play. Say, Mom, you've been working all day. You have not played with me. You have not played. What's going on? I had to do this whole video. I had to. It's my job. It's how you get treats and toys. The people of the internet don't they don't want me to play, they want me to do this. No friends. Okay. Go play. I love you, Kevin. I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks, Lady. So there we go. So we have these. These are definitely going over onto one not. Um, we have this. I'm gonna kick the dog out. I'll be right back. I feel so bad. It's okay. Um, this is a We the Free by Free People, and this is just a burnout tunic with this V-neck. It's super lightweight. It's an olive green color, and we're going to see if we can fix the blinds. There we go. Yep, little olive green and a size large. That's going to go to whatnot. This one is a Tiger's Den piece. This is a vintage Nike tank top and a really fun print and it's got this cool Nike tag on it. So I'll sell this locally at Tiger's Den. I'll probably put like $18 on it. Then we have a pair of Maybell jeans. These are Maybell jeans in a size 36 petite. They are the nine inch high rise skinnies. Go with the little ripped distressed knees we love a good plus size find i did have a lot of people on my live today being like plus size i definitely try to be as size inclusive as i can so that will be a good find for tomorrow or today if you're watching this this is a lila skirt and i got this because it's brand new with tags i definitely don't always pick up this brand but this is really cute you guys so this is a you go girl skirt in blush and this is so fun just a little corduroy tie waist skirt then we have another new tag item this one's an altered state and which is just a mall brand but their stuff is really cute and this is new tag size medium and it is a little bodysuit so i think no no yes yes sorry he just got tangled up there we go. A little cute bodysuit, which is perfect for summer. It's got this Swiss dot detailing on it and retailed for $60. We have a Life is Good, which is also brand new with tags. I think I put all the new tags, like a bunch of it together because I was filming a little thing. This is a women's size, medium, brand new, little ski print or ski that girl's gonna go skiing. That's what's happening. Shirts. My life is good has been oddly selling. Whenever I list it on Poshmark, it sells right away. So take that as you will. We have a pair of hunter socks for your hunter boots. I've never seen this design before. So this is a really fun, um, this is inside out, but this is a really fun little design. It's got like a knitted top. It's very stretchy in the pretty purple color so we have that little set this is a sling a baby sling I will probably resell this myself I don't know if I'll put this on whatnot like is there a market on whatnot I might have a children's sell on there but this is wild bird and it is a I believe a linen sling I did look this up comps were pretty good 40 to 50 dollars and this one's in perfect condition I'm gonna see if it says the fabric on it. I don't know. But this is just a nice little ring sling and it's really pretty and cute. We love a good baby item. 
We have a Lululemon size 10 racerback tank top in this really pretty stripe. Someone did knot it on the front, which is kind of fun. I kind of like that. I might just leave it like that. I think that's really cute. Um, and it does still have the hang tag in there so you can see the size. We have a Nike golf shirt. It is brand new with tags, retailed for $65. Men's size XXL. And it's just a black Nike golf shirt. I would list that on Poshmark for $30. This is a shirt from Free People. And it's just a cross, or no, it's like a drapey little blouse. This is cute, actually. This is a nice thinner material, perfect for summer. Little Free People number, size large, which is great. This I might, I'm gonna try on. <laughs> I'm not promising I'm selling this. It's really cute. It needs to be washed. It is Adidas Stella McCartney. And it's just a cool little crew neck sweatshirt with this kind of oversized sleeve, size medium. Love this. I love Adidas Stella McCartney stuff. I probably will sell this. I have a Nike uh, set that's like this exact same color and I probably don't need another piece in this color. So I guess this probably will be up on Whatnot tomorrow, today. I should rephrase that. We have a bra. This one is a third love bra. I will be listing this on Poshmark. I'm gonna keep listing bras on Poshmark. So we will keep this to list on our Posh. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. This is Icebreaker Murano Wool, Murano Wool. It's an extra small and it is a little tank top with the pink detailing. I didn't see any holes or flaws on this one, which is great. So we'll get her washed up and listed. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg wrap sweater that I need to turn right side out. It is missing the um, neck tag, but it did have the interior Diane Von Furstenberg tag. It has the name, it is the Kylie. It doesn't have the size, but I'll take measurements. I'm assuming this is like a size small and just a little cute cream sweater. We have a sweatshirt from Nike. This does have a small spot on it, which I'm gonna try and stain treat. But if I can't treat it, this would be a great tie-dye item. This white Nike hoodie, perfect tie-dye item. This is a size medium. What was the spot? There was definitely some spots on this. I mean, white always has spots, let's be real. So we'll get that guy washed. Nike Golf, again, um, just a standard fit polo. Goodwill wanted $10 for this, wow. This is a teal color and it does have sample on it, of course. And now they are apparently screen printing sample. Wow, wow, why would you do that? Why? That literally means Nike, you're horrible. I'm sorry, but this is trash. Like you can't, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to do? Why would you start doing this? Now I get it. You can't resell your samples because of like import laws and taxes, but why would you make it so no one can wear it? That just, that infuriates me. That infuriates me. We have so much garbage. Why are you making more? You used to just put a sample on the inner side tag and call it a day. And now you're going to put it on the actual outside, not even in writing, but in like full heat press. That's nuts. Well, I don't know what to do with that. That's disappointing. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. This is a piranha sweater. I sold this sweater a bunch of times. Um, this is like a little fringy on the end. It has a tie neck, really cute little piranha piece, size medium. Sold a couple piranha pieces today. I think they sold for like seven to $10, which is steel. And you can um, unlock a dollar shipping after your first purchase, you get a dollar shipping on anything that you add to your bundle. Um, so that's really great. And I was selling some like just stickers. So you get the cheapest rate you're paying for a sticker price of shipping versus a heavy jacket. So I think that that was really fun. Um, okay. 
This is a marine layer t-shirt. It says good vibes. I love selling marine layer pieces. I've never seen like graphic tees from them, but this is a size Marge. What? There's two of them. Hold on. Mm -hmm. That's not the other one. I have another one. Okay, but look at it. This literally says it doesn't say Lark. Am I going crazy? Marge, M-A-R-G-E, Marine Layer, Mar Medium Large? Is it a medium large? So they made up a word called Marge. What is happening? Uh, am I crazy? Between that Nike and this, I have, I'm just gonna put this right there. Hold on. This is, it's been a long day. Okay, Piranha. I love selling Piranha. My, the pants from Piranha have been going crazy. And this is a nice, long, athletic dress. T-shirt dress, like a midi length and a size large. So that will do great. That will do great. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm so confused about life right now. This is, I think, BDG. Yeah, BDG, size small, a little, like, flocked, velvety, type of skirt with this little button detail, patch pockets on the front. Very, very cute. There we go. BDG, size small skirt. These are Miss Me pants. I think I'm going to take these over to Tiger's Den. They're size 30 Miss Me cargo pants and they're very fun. They have lots of like detail and embroidery. Um, so I'm going to test these out at Tiger's Den. We have this little bodysuit. I've never heard of this company before, but I looked it up. It looks like it's made in Australia, which is always a good sign. It's called Shopo. And this is just really cute. This is a size US 14 little tie shoulder bodysuit in this dark. This would be cute if I was going to wear it, but I'm going to sell it. Here's another dress from Prana. This one's an extra large extra large little midi length perfect condition dress and goodwill wanted $14.99 for it Woo! i'm gonna put on whatnot i'll probably go for like seven eight bucks oh these are so fun these are so fun someone's gonna get these okay 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 hold on no there's a hole someone took the buttons off and I didn't notice. I got so excited. I didn't notice. So this says don't moose with me. And this is a, like a long john pajama. I love finding them by this brand. Lazy ones has mooses all over it. And the butt flap says don't moose with me. But someone like ripped the buttons off and put holes in it. Now it doesn't work. Okay. That's that's sad. That's sad. That's sad. It is what it is. It is onward and upward, guys. Uh, Nike. We love a Nike. This is a Nike little zip up hoodie. Does have the in or is that embroidered? Nope. Oh yeah, that's not embroidered. That's just a uh, screen printed logo and a woman's size large. Nice lightweight hoodie. That is great for summer because you know you need those when it gets chilly at night. Uh, Piranha size medium white peplum lace embroidered shirt we have a nike girls i think i'll probably put this in the cell tomorrow maybe i'll do some kid stuff okay nike girls extra large tech fleece dress how fun is this i have sold a bunch of these in small sizes even with flaws for like 20 bucks so i would imagine this one i would put on uh posh for probably 30 35 dollars this great blue color Love this. I wish Delilah wore dresses. I would totally say she wanted it. Ooh, the Miss Me star of the show here. Miss Me's are, have been flying off the shelves for me. These are size 32. I'm crazy to put these on whatnot. These are going to sell for $40, $50 as soon as you list them. Um, Miss Me's in a size 2 are really great. These are the Chloe boot cut. And there is a little bit of wear, I think, along the bottom. But that's totally normal and to be expected. Outside of that, they're in perfect shape, so we love that. We have a fun summery color, like stripe. Made this is totally made well. Who knew this was made well before I even told you? Made well t-shirt in a size large. 
super fun. We have some kids snow pants, which I will set aside for the kids sell, but they are REI girls size 2T snow pants. These will be great for the winter kids event. This is a Madewell, I think it's a dress or a tunic. It's probably a tunic. Um, it needs to be washed. There's a couple spots, but I should be able to get those out. Madewell size medium. It has this gorgeous embroidery. Look at that. Love that. It's like a gauzy fabric. Perfect summertime piece. Here's the other Marge shirt. Oh my God, this one says it too. This is water. They should be stronger. You can't just make up a size. You can't do that. Marge doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Marine layer. I need to write you a letter. What, what is that? Mar, what is that? What is that? I'm going to put it on. This is a cool shirt for one. It's a big sir shirt. And I'm going to put these on whatnot tomorrow. And someone who is a size Marge can buy them. Or just someone who wants them. I don't know. I am so. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like I'm crazy. It's okay. Um, uh, this I recently sold, so I picked it up again. I sold it like as soon as I listed it. This is a piranha size small sweater. It does have a little bit of peeling as you can see, but I will, it's just like those big ones. So I'll be able to pull that off pretty easily. This is so soft. What are you? Oh, I thought this was barefoot dreams. It's not, and it's not even like clothes. It's champion, which I wasn't expecting. Champion, medium, soft, uh, crop sweater. I did not, like this is the Barefoot Dreams fabric, you guys. It's super soft and cozy. I was not expecting this to be a champion, but it's cute. So I'll be excited to get that in your home. This is an Out From Under, which is an Urban Outfitter brand. And if you guys saw my live today, you know that I sold an Out From Under, um, like hooded jacket and I put it on and it was a little ridiculous. But this is just a nice, open let's not open knit but it is like a like a loose knit like a loose weave I don't know if there's a term for that is there please let me know oversized shirt again this would be a perfect beach shirt beach bonfire oh there's so many fun things that happen in the summer I'm starting to plan all this like fun summer stuff with my kids like what are we gonna do I think we're gonna go to Enchanted Forest you guys know about Enchanted Forest we're definitely gonna do that this year I think they're at that perfect age uh, Enchanted Forest is a small amusement park here in Oregon. Um, just Google it. <laughs> just Google it. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about it. These are a pair of shorts. I think these are going to Tiger's Den. These are John Galt stripey little pull-on shorts. How fun are these? Super lightweight and cool. This is a uh, Young Fabulous and Broke tie-dye pullover hoodie with the ruche sides. There we go, Young Fabulous and Broke, size large. This is another great beachy type of piece. Okay, I love this. Do I need this? Would I look cute in this? I kind of love it. I'm gonna try it on. People are gonna be like, that's gross, but it's really not. Like, I've done worse things. This is very cute. I really like this. I probably don't need it, but this is very cute. Okay, that's all. I'm selling this. It's it's adorable. Uh, we have a Nike Nike uh, crew neck, just like a classic Nike big swoosh crew neck. It does have a pocket. What is going on with my life? If you guys are still watching this, thank you, thank you. Even if you're watching this just to be like, what the heck is this girl gonna do next? I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button down below for more wacky videos. <laughs> um, this is something, uh, Nike NFL. Check it out, I don't know, anything about football. It has a T and it has flame. So like maybe Texas or Tennessee or Titans, is that a thing? 
has to be something I can Google image it though and I will find out what that is or I'll just put it on whatnot tomorrow and someone will tell me but this is a nice lightweight jacket we have a classic North Face graphic print t-shirt in a men's size medium Ooh, linen linen you guys know how I feel about linen linen in the summer cashmere in the winter white linen dress with really cute details i looked up comps on this comps are around 40 50 dollars has like this it does have a panel on it though so it does have some stretch to it which i thought was really nice because a lot of times linen is just like oversized and baggy because there's no stretch to it but putting those panels on the side makes it so lots of people can wear it um the brand is lugo larno Made in Italy, size medium. There's a tag. And I'll wash that up and get that up on whatnot. Um, okay, this thing I looked up and it's so weird. So there's like a little thing poking me. It's bugging me. Um, this is called the Undress. Comps are really good on this. And it is used to change clothing in public. Um... Yeah, that's what this is used for. This is used to change clothing in public. It has all the pieces. Um, I'm going to put it up on whatnot. But sold, I think, were in the like $30, $40 range. So that's not bad. And this is a size extra, extra large. So you take it like camping or any like to the beach, whatever. And you can just change without you know being naked in public or like trying to hold a towel up or whatever it is I think you kind of I think you can like hang this from like a tree or something I could be wrong that's kind of what my guess was on this and then you go inside of it I've never seen it but people were buying them I would shoot that's great I grew up in Southern California and we used to have to like try and like hold up sheets and stuff to try and change in um at the beach Okay, my bras, which will not be going anywhere with Poshmark. This one is a Victoria's Secret little bra, super nice. We have another Victoria's Secret, um, another Victoria's Secret. Don't sleep on Victoria's Secret. This one's a sports bra. I might put, no, who knows? I might put this on whatnot. This is a Kalia sports bra, Carrie Underwood line. Um, NYX, my very favorite. This one is a NYX size 7, which I forget. I would have to use a size chart, but NYX by NYX Wear Bra, size 7. And this one is a reversible, I believe. Is this one reversible? I don't know. It's a black bra. I've worn these before. They are so comfortable. They're the best. This one also, I was so surprised to find it, but this is a Spanx bra. And it was with that next one and I was hoping to find more, but I just found these two. So a little Sphinx bra. This one is a 40 double D. Definitely going to get this listed very quickly. A Robin Piccone swimsuit top. I'm also going to list this on Poshmark. And then a goddess corset. Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to get like $50 for this. And the whole haul was 60 something. So this one is 46F. Such a great size. So sexy. Perfect for like someone's wedding. I feel so lucky to have found this. I got so excited. There's the tag. Goddess is a great brand to um, sell in the bras. So I, I was doing a little happy dance. I was. It's okay. This is another kid item. I sold one of these before. It sold literally like as soon as I listed it. Um, I might just put this one up on Poshmark too. We'll see. But I'm not going to put this in a, the kids. I'm not going to put this on whatnot. And, like the kids stuff, I still have to figure out kind of what I'm doing. So I'll probably just list this on Poshmark. This is a nested bean sleep sack. It has a weighted um, piece right here. And they are very, very popular. So nested bean, uh, Zen sack classic, 6 to 15 months. It has a little dude. Look at how cute that is. We have a pair of swim trunks from Abercrombie, size extra small with parrots. You like pink? 
Abercrombie swim trunks. I don't know why I'm singing that song. It doesn't have anything to do with Abercrombie swim trunks, but here we are. We have a little cute J. Crew dress. Look at this pretty floral. Pretty floral J. Crew dress, size extra small. There we go. Belted waist. The belt is still intact, which is great. Let me see if there is a date on here. So recently I learned that like the J. Crew, I thought the newer ones were cursive. But then I noticed that some of the newer Drake Kuru pieces that I was finding had this block lettering still. So I don't know. Um, I don't see, where's the tag? You guys don't wanna watch me try and search for the tag. You get the point. The point is, um, I don't think this is old. I don't. We'll see. It's an extra small Goodwill one or twelve ninety nine. It didn't sell, um, but I'm going to list it on the out tomorrow. This is a Nike Oregon Ducks, size medium. I think this is like the hyper warm, um, but this is a full zip jacket. And look at the like cool sleeves. This is really cool. This is going to Tiger's Den. This is just a little uh, like Y2K spaghetti strap shirt from Ivy Jane, Ivy Jane. And it is made in the USA. We love that size medium. So I'll put that at Tiger's Den for like $18, $20. This is a vintage V cell for a lot. I was gonna list this, it'd probably be around $40, $50. This is a Lands of Salzburg, size small, flannel pajama, you guys. People buy these like in the matching for their whole family. These are very popular. I'm gonna hold the tag up. If you see these, buy them. Buy them, seriously. We have some more Tiger's Den stuff. Look at this little Y2K dress with the crochet trim. This little gingham pink halter tie neck dress from Von. Who knows that brand? Very cute little dress. Um, another Tiger's Den item is this Wilfred Free little top. I don't know. I think that must be the back and then this would be the front. But it's a little tube top from Wilfred, which is an Aritzia brand. Here we go. There's the tag. These are for my kids. These are just a pair of camel pants. <laughs> These are a pair of camel pants for my child. That's all. And another pair of pants for my child. These Bowden, how cute are these though? Look at these Bowden, size 13. Hopefully Delilah likes them and they fit her. If not, I will list them, but love those. They're so cute. I'm gonna go ask her. This is a uh, Fabletics, but I loved it too much to leave it behind. It really reminded me of, like a Patagonia piece. Um, so it's a half zipped fleece jacket with like this mixed fabric. Very warm and cozy, size small. I love the colors, like everything about this. The fleece is a little bit matted. You could bring it back to life or wear it as is. Get that washed up. Okay, these are also for my kids, just Nike sweatpants. We have a piranha swimsuit in a size large. How pretty, how pretty is that? Piranha floral swimsuit. Has that tie ruched sides. We love this. It is missing the pads that go inside, but that doesn't really matter. Most people pull those out anyways. Um, okay, I have some belts and then this. Okay, okay, here's a fun story. I was at the bins and I found a Juicy Couture purse, a vintage like Y2K pink velour Juicy Couture purse. And I was obsessed and it was trashed. It was so stained and like all of the this like candle was peeling. It was just in such bad shape. Carried it around for a few minutes and I was like, what am I doing? Like, this is not a good buy. This is trash. This is in real, this is not in a shape that I think I can save. So I put it back, but I had this. I had this little keychain -y thing on it. So I took the keychain. I just took the keychain. It's fine. It's fine. So I took the little keychain off of it and I can sell the keychain. I'm gonna pull up comps and see what it's selling for. Probably put it on whatnot tomorrow. 
Um, but a little juicy guitar, <laughs> keychain. I'm gonna stop going for, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. I, how to get it? I don't know, I couldn't get the purse, so I just got that instead. So these I think I'm gonna take to um, Tiger's Den. This is a coach leather belt, like a braided leather coach belt. Uh, size 42 inches, really nice. And then this belt is really cool too. This is a Naf Naf size medium leather belt that I think I'm also going to take over to Tiger's Den. Can I see? Yeah, this is real leather. Um, but yeah, so this is just like a really cute little leather belt. Some. Okay, I never heard of this brand before, but I looked it up because I thought it was interesting. The tag was interesting. So this is by Collusion. It says Main Turkey. It's an extra small. It is a ribbed shirt. They sell these on ASOS. It has a snap front and it's really cool. And then there's a second one by the same brand, Collision. But this one's just like a green color. And again, it has that cool snap front with these pockets. So get those. I thought they were fun. I don't know if they have like a good resale value or anything, but um, either for personal use or resale, if they have a good value, grab those. We have a pair of Zara size double zero denim jeans. These are a newer Zara tag. And they're just like a straight leg distressed denim jean. I think I'll probably take these to Tiger's Den. Smaller sizes do good there, and that's great. So those are great little jeans. We have an American Eagle vintage high rise size 10 jeans. Perfect distressing on these. Love these. Button fly. And then the back has the distressing on it too. Let me grab a bunch of stuff out here. This is Dolan. Uh, this one sold at Anthropology. This is a size medium Dolan. It's just a green leopard print tank with this kind of crissy cross open back. Crissy cross, crissy cross. This is another Anthro piece. This is a Margaret O'Leary knit white tank top. We have a cool brand Top, just a little woman's button front top with this really pretty kind of lace inset detailing. This is made well and it is a size large mock neck sweatshirt. So, and then we have, oh, these are really nice. I don't know if they'll fit me. I was going to try these on. Um, I'm going to see if they fit me, but these are Nike joggers. I sold a pair of these recently in a size extra small. They're just little pull on Nike jogger pants in a size large. Now these, I looked them up and it looked like they were pretty good. They were selling them, I think it made well, but it's cool. Okay, cool, okay, cool, cool. That's me trying to sound something out and not trying to sneeze because there's so much dust in the air. K-U-L-E, okay. There's two of them, so they're size small. This one says I Pretzel New York. Very cute. And this one says O S pound exclamation part T. And it does have like this is like kind of their signature, I guess. So I got those. I thought they were fun. More stuff for Tigers and we have the vintage Carolina Blues, 100 percent cotton large overall dress okay yes okay so we have that and then we have a little blossom 90s vest with the daisies and look at it laces up the back so fun definitely taking that over to tiger's den this is made by 81st and park it's a linen blend and then these Star of the show here. Hi. Who's the leader of the club? I just sold a pair of um, 
Pooh Bear ones that were very similar to this. And I think I sold them for like $48, something silly. But these are Mickey Mouse, you guys. Mickey Mouse overall shorts. Hello, hi. Who did not have a pair of these when you were young? I definitely did. They're size 22, Disney Plus. Yes, I'm gonna take those to Tiger's Den. Love finding good um, plus size for Tiger's Den. Pair of North Face booty shorts, booty, 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 booty. North Face booty shorts in a size small. Those are perfect to wear under dresses and stuff. Love them. Uh, this I'm going to take over to Tiger's Den. This is just a little top shop orange button down tie front shirt. And this. Oh, if it was winter, I would take this to Tiger's Den, but they're not really taking jackets right now. This is by Maggie Lawrence. So I'm debating on if I'm gonna save it and take it in the winter time. We're gonna put it on whatnot tomorrow. What do you guys think? What should I do? Look at this tapestry jacket, you guys. These sell for crazy money. They're pretty hard to find. And it has like the fringe. It's really cool. Like, I love this thing. I don't know, I think, I might save it for Tiger's Den for the fall. I might put it on whatnot. Let me know what you guys think I should do with it. But that's that's my whole haul. So that's my 50 pounds. I'm gonna list, um, get all the stuff prepped and ready and then get it up on um, whatnot tomorrow. And then I also have a stack of jeans here that I'm gonna show you guys. These are from another haul that I don't think I ended up filming this haul. I just had too much going on. That does happen, believe it or not. I have like five hauls in my, that I've never even uploaded. Like that's, that happens. I film stuff and sometimes it just never goes live. So I'm gonna put these on whatnot tomorrow. Um, these are a pair of Levi's mile high, super skinny jeans in a size 30. They're just a pair of distressed jeans. These have already been washed. I washed these and they were sitting here ready to be filmed <laughs> or not ready to be filmed, ready to be hung up and process. We have a pair of cabbie jeans. I got these because they're true boyfriend cabbie jeans. I don't even really pick up cabbie anymore, but I do like boyfriend jeans. Um, and I like these a lot. I like the wash, I like the cut. So I went ahead and grabbed these. We have a pair of Gap Denim, again, boyfriend jeans in this black wash. There's a raw hem at the bottom. And I think this is intentional, yeah, the way it's done. Um, so we have these. We have the American Eagle Highest Rise J-Yings and a size 16 long. 16 long. And again, I'll start all these at like $3. So if you're looking for things to resell, you can, you know, pick up a pair of 16 long jeans for American Eagle. I'd price those probably at $35 to $40. And I have two pair. Yep, here's another one. 16 long American Eagle jeans. We have a pair of Gap denim. These are the best girlfriends in a size 26. And then we have Madewell, classic Madewell, the mom jean in a size 27. There we go, love these. These should do really well. And we have a cut from the cloth, size eight denim jean. These are like a straight leg distressed. Last but not least is a pair of Can Can jeans. Popular, popular, size 26, skinny distressed jeans. So all of that will be up uh, today on whatnot. So. Thank you guys. Follow the link, join the show, have some fun, bid on some stuff. A lot of things sell for like, you know, three, five, seven dollars. And it's just fun. You can put it on in the background while you're listing or doing whatever you need to do. I believe that 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I linked it down below so you guys can see it. And hopefully I will see a lot of you there. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.